My name is uh, Srinath van Praag and I'm uh, from Holland, the Netherlands. I have a wife and two sons, one one year old, one four years old. And I have my own company, it's called Alles is Goed, which basically means uh, something in between all is well and all is good. Two and a half years ago, uh, my uh, brother-in-law uh, came with the idea of Masterpiece. And Masterpiece is an organization that uh, wants to uh, bring as many people together uh, to uh, build peace together. Creating peace together is the slogan. What will you do? And um, when he came to me with the idea, I felt in my heart that it was time for me to uh, yeah, do something for peace, to make use of my time to, to do something for peace and then especially for young people, uh, children, youth, uh, say to, to 25. So I started uh, thinking of educational projects for Masterpiece and that became my core business and I'm doing that now for uh, yeah, two years. I'm busy with that. What do you see the major challenges for humanity to be in the next decade? To let go of control. I think uh, we are being forced uh, uh, into a situation where we see that we can no longer control things. Um, we're seeing it in e economics, we're seeing it in the environment, it's out of control. And things are going faster and faster and faster. And for instance, an institution like a school still thinks that it is possible to have somebody four years in a certain school to learn a, a certain profession. But uh, what you're learning in the first year in school is already past history when you're getting your diploma. So uh, we're seeing it's not working. The systems we're used to aren't working anymore. So now we're going to be have to deal from different systems. Uh, uh, companies can no longer be hierarchic companies because it's too slow. They have to be flexible, they have to be moving. Schools have to be moving, have to be flexible. So it takes a lot of us. We have been just holding on to our safety with so much uh, uh, strength. This takes a lot from us to now let go and trust that there are different ways of coexisting together and uh, different ways of doing business together, different way of dividing wealth together, different ways of uh, taking care of our planet together. So it's, it's about letting go of control and still being in, uh, trusting and, and still all finding ways to communicate so that we're still knowing we're going in the same direction and we're clear that we are still together in it. And that's, that's the challenge, I think. What skills and capacities need to be developed to meet these challenges? You need to be flexible. People will, will be uh, asked to let go of a lot of uh, old familiar patterns and conditioning. And courage. We need to be courageous uh, to, to deal with all this insecurity. So the, 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 uh, if we're going to listen to our fears, we're going to still try to hold on to the control and then we're going to uh, uh, make a lot of harm make harm for ourselves but also for the ones surrounding us so so we have to be courageous not knowing where things will go and how things will go and if we will have some mm, food on the table two years from now all these things will become normal that is not no longer controllable so that takes courage to let go of the safety and it's not like humanity hasn't needed that uh, for all of their life, but I think it's also very important to uh, develop the capacity to go within. And what do you see the role of the youth to be? A very big role. Uh, if, if you're going to ask uh, a 40 year old guy, uh, will you plant a tree for me? He will say, no, I'm too busy. And if you ask his 12 year old daughter, will you plant a tree? And she said, yes, I will. And then she will go to her dad and say, Pop, I have to plant a tree, uh, will you please help me? And this guy will cancel his meeting and will go with his 12-year-old daughter to plant a tree. So I feel that the youth uh, are, are, for, are our best hope that people can reconnect with what is really important. That they will remind uh, the older generations 
uh, that it's not about the economics of the world, but it's more about really connecting and, and the youth will grow up in a world that is already clear that it's a global place, that it's that you can through Facebook and through the internet you're already connected with every uh, uh, corner of the earth. So they will have a different outlook and my hope is that they will understand better than their parents uh, that we have to do it together to, to make it work. What gives you hope for the future? Well, uh, in, in the basics I'm a very optimistic guy. I don't believe the students will be allowed to burn down the classroom and this is what this is. It's a difficult classroom because you don't really can discriminate on the outside who is in a children's garden and who is um, uh, doing a master's in the university because we're all dumped in the same school called Earth. But um, uh, the, all the challenges that are here are for us to grow and learn from. So in the end, every step we take is a step closer to the light, is a step closer to home because in the end we're all a part of this big blob of consciousness where we all belong to and all are part of and it's the only thing uh, that, that we can be scared of is that we have lost the recognition of it but that doesn't mean that it's no longer true. Imagine to be dropped on a desert island with only one thing in your life to bring. What would you bring? I would definitely bring my family. My two sons four and one year old and my wife because they're the most dear to me and I don't mind where I am and what I have on material goods but if I am with my family I'm happy.